Alright, what's up guys? This is Photoshop Destiny from PhotoshopDestiny.com and this is a video tutorial on how to make user bars for forums. Um, if you check out my forums, uh, you'll see that I may have a, a for user bar on my in my signature and you guys can check it out. And this is what a user bar is. It just basically represents what you use so this one says Firefox user and I am in fact a Firefox user so yeah uh, we're gonna be learning how to make this in Photoshop so you wanna open up Photoshop whatever version you have I have CS4 and you wanna go to file new and you wanna name it whatever you want I'm gonna name it user bars and you wanna set the width to 390 and the height to 19 both pixels uh, resolution 72 pixels uh, color mode RGB color 8-bit and background content white now you should get this you want to zoom in by pressing control plus zoom in once uh, and you want to unlock the background layer now you want to uh, start off so we're going to use this as a guide. You can see there's a nice dark bo uh, border around here, a black border. We're going to create that. So you want to get your align tool and you want to just make a line. Uh, you want to um, click this to get rid of the vector mask and you want to go to uh, blending options for that layer. Now you want to add a stroke and just make it two. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and just I'm just gonna use the arrow keys and move it over. All right. So wait, let me see. Yeah. And now I'm just gonna duplicate the layer. Uh, click that again. And I'm gonna move it to the other side. All right. Whoops. Alright, so now I'm just going to make another line for the top one uh, and bottom. And if you didn't know this, if you hold shift, uh, it makes uh, your line straight. If you didn't know that. Blending options, stroke, just add to. Alright, so I'm just going to use the arrow keys again. Move up. Duplicate the layer. And move it down. Alright, so now that we have the border, um, we want to start adding the background color. In this case, it's going to be a light blue to a darker blue. So I'm going to go to the gradient, over uh, gradient, and just going to select the background layer, which is the layer zero that we unlocked. And I already have a preset made for this. Um, well, not a preset, but I already have it made, and I'm just going to use this. So. I think that looks pretty good and you guys can use whatever color you want but I'm using Firefox user so Firefox colors are technically blue and orange so I'm gonna be using that and so yeah now what you wanna do is add a nice little reflection circle at the top just like you see here if you uh, if you look really closely you can see there's like a difference between the shades of color here um, so we're gonna add that you wanna get your ellipse tool and you just wanna make a nice like half circle on the top and you wanna make sure the color is set to white and again click that to get rid of the lines again and you wanna reduce the opacity for this uh, I'm gonna reduce it mine to around 28 uh, that looks nice and so there you have that now we're gonna start um, now we're gonna actually add a uh, diagonal uh, lines to it to make it look more user barish because that's typical for that um, this is just looking smooth and we want it sort of on an angle so what you want to do is um, create a new whoops oh no create a new layer 
Actually, no. You know what? Don't create a new layer. Um, just go back to your background layer and go to um, blending options, pattern overlay, and select the pattern. You don't have this pattern. I made the pattern, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So you want to go to File, New and set the width to 5 pixels, height 5 pixels and background content transparent. Leave everything else the same. Now you want to zoom in as much as you can and you want to get the pencil pencil tool. You want to make sure your foreground color is set to black and you just want to make a diagonal line. So just like that. All right? Now you just want to go to edit, define pattern, and I'm not going to save it because I already have one. Uh, just uh, name your pattern and click OK. Go back into your uh, main user bar and go to blending options, pattern overlay, and it should be in here. Just click it and you can see what it looks like. Um, I don't want it too dark. I don't want it all the way, the opacity all the way up. So I'm going to reduce the opacity to what I think looks right. I'm just going to reduce it to 35. And click OK. So now that we have the uh, those angles, um, we want to start adding the picture. It's uh, You can make your picture if you want or whatever, but I have my Firefox uh, icon. And I'm just going to use that. So I'm just going to drag that into Photoshop and I'm gonna use the background eraser and er erase the background magic eraser sorry and I'm gonna drag the Firefox into my user bars template thing and you can see that it's really big we wanna reduce um, we wanna scale that down uh, control T and you'll get that scale it down press enter and I wanna make it look to the main uh, icon part so not at like there or anywhere down below I want it right centered sort of so I can see the fox nose and the tail and the earth and I want to keep it a bit that or um, to the right now to add text um, traditionally there's like a special font that you need to use and it's called visitors font um, you can download the visitors font from thefont.com I'll have and this is it I'll have the link in the description you guys can download that and uh, you will just want to type in uh, whatever your user bar is going to be mine's Firefox user and so there we go I'm going to start changing the color of this so I'm gonna go to right click and blending options color overlay and set it to white you can see it turned white uh, I'm gonna add a stroke to it but not too thick and there we go alright so that's basically it um, if we look at it again I can close it um, it looks pretty similar Whoops. I cannot get this, sorry. Um, Alright, so as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the one we made, I already made. And you guys can make anything you want. If you if you like Nike, make it Nike user. And I have the Nike symbol here. Um, a Windows XP user. Um, sorry for that. Um, Windows XP user. Uh, just have a Windows logo here and keep it w XP user. Whatever you want, the the number of things you can do with this are endless so I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and um, uh, hope you guys will check out my next videos and thank you for watching